Hello everybody and welcome. Thank you so very much for stopping by. Thank you for watching my channel Ivana Tero. This is bi-weekly astrology and tarot reading for zodiac sign Pisces for both men and women all over the world being born under this sign. Guys, your spread is already waiting in front of my camera to be translated. And this is exactly what I will try to do. But a little bit later because I want to start with astrology and I want to give you as many as possible insights about next two weeks from February 19th until March 4th, 2018. So guys, I think it's going to be fun and interesting for you. And then we'll go back to Tarot. Okay, so before I say anything at all, let me just quickly remind you guys, please go and uh, watch uh, bi-weekly astrology and tarot reading for your moon sign and for your rising sun as well. So what is like the most important what uh, will happen to you? Now, first of all, sun is entering Pisces, your sign, your first house, uh, February 18th. So, guys, this is all about you. Sun in the first house. This is like a limelight. You know who you are. You know what you want. You know, everybody will stare at you, saying, you, oh, how beautiful you are, you know. So, something will happen beautiful, beautiful to you. By the way, happy birthday. This is the most powerful time in 2018. Use such a powerful energy and make a wish. Sun, uh, I see the first house in conjunction with the Neptune saying to you, make a wish, make a wish, because soon I will deliver what you want. Throughout 2018, um, God will deliver something to you. So think and think again before you say loud and clear what you want. Don't be shy. This is no time for being shy. Simply, if you want something, go out and grab it because this is your opportunity coming your way. Uh, sun, uh, being in the first house in conjunction with Asteroid Diana, there is also Asteroid Aesculapia. So, you know, you want to be free and you want to express who you are and what you want freely. Also, all the wish most likely soon will to come to materialization, maybe not in next two weeks or so, but old wish will come to you. And also what might happen, old colic or maybe your old uh, flame, which is somehow connected with your job, soon can enter into your life. Okay, okay. Full moon will occur March 1st in your seventh house. So this is a marriage house. This is your partner. So something is, you know, something will leave your life. So what this might be? Well, if you are not pleased with your marriage, then this is you saying goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. You know, uh, I'm not mad at you, but simply I can't be with you any longer. You want your freedom and especially now when Diana is in the first house in, in conjunction with your son. This is you saying, I want to be free. I want to explore my possibilities, you know, and Maybe you can do such a thing because I can see an Aquarius, you know, somebody could be, you know, coming, maybe already is in your life. So uh, Jupiter is in your uh, ninth house. Maybe, maybe you will have opportunity to travel or at least you want to be somewhere else. Maybe this is your the biggest like think, maybe the biggest wish. You want to be in love or you want to be in another town or in, an, uh, in another country. Also, uh, Saturn and Pluto in your 11th house is asking you to be bold. Honey, be bold. Because especially with this full moon in your 7th house, things are changing, things are shifting. God and the whole cosmos, the universe is asking from you. This, this, exactly this. Ask from you more. Ask from your life more. Also, um, uh, in February, going into March, you can meet your second husband or your second wife. Maybe not this very second, but soon somebody is coming in your life. If you are completely, completely single, what can I say for you? There is somebody passing through your life 
This could be Sag, could be Capricorn, could be Aries, could be Scorpio. This person is connected with your, uh, um, with your work. I mean, uh, you can say to this person uh, yes, or maybe you can say no. If you want, uh, if you want stable love relationship, uh, I don't know, is this person ready for stable relationship? I mean, you are ready for such a thing, but I don't know if this man, let's say you're a woman, I'm not sure that this man basically is uh, ready, because he is very ambitious type of a man. He wants to achieve something very special and in a very short period of time. So if you want to be with him, I mean, you can do that, you know, you can do that, no doubt about that. And he is maybe already there in your life. But if you want stability, maybe this person is not the one. If you are in a happy love relationship, then, you know, this is maybe your husband. Maybe he is very ambitious now and he wants to grow his job, his uh, business or, you know, anything, anything of, of that kind. Your husband will travel a lot with or without you. Maybe you will recognize that you are a very lonely woman, you know. I mean, you love to be in a relationship with somebody who is very ambitious, but then on the other side, I can see you being, you know, uh, alone. But to tell you the truth, there is, a, there is a big amount of people all around you. I mean, you are not see, single in, in a physical sense of that word, but uh, maybe, maybe you are not pleased with this sense of belonging, this is what you are lacking uh, of. But I can see Libra very interested, maybe already, maybe already in love with you. This Libra will say something. Also could be, also could be Scorpio or, or Taurus, saying something of that kind. You know, I'm trying to be with you. I'm trying to love you. Why are you avoiding me? Why you think that I'm only your friend? I'm not only your friend. I love you. I want to be with you. I want to spend my life with you. But at the very same time, you most likely want somebody else. Then I can see a Gemini, mm, wishy-washy. Um, I don't know, maybe for some of you this is Virgo. I mean, due to this full moon in the sign of Virgo, be careful who is this person, uh, because, you know, something is weird with your seven house, something need to go, there is no time for wasting, you need to realize who is this person with whom you want to spend your life with? Don't delay something which is obvious to everybody, but it is not obvious to you. Mercury is in your first house, but in a sign of Pisces, in a water element. You want to talk about love, you want to talk about um, expressing your emotions, but somebody is next to you who speak only about business and money. You don't like that at all because you want to feel, you want to be connected very tightly with this person. And this person basically is like a, is like a tornado in your life. I mean, this person maybe is not bad, but this person is completely different than you. You need compassion, you need love, and above all, you need touch, you need human touch. If this person can't uh, give that to you, then you need to find somebody else. Now, let's get back to Tarot. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, Major Arcana, the Chariot, Major Arcana, the Magician, and Major Arcana, the Sun. My dear Pisces, listen to me. You have three powerful Major Arcanas in your spread. Moving, manifesting what you want to manifest, and Major Arcana, the Star. For so many of you, this is pregnancy. You know, Sun in the first house, sun, light, uh, life growing inside of you. Not for all of you, of course, but for some of you could be new life uh, growing maybe already inside of you. Uh, major card, the chariot, this is moving, could be moving from your, fa for, from your past finally, or maybe moving simply when it comes to uh, your job, maybe moving from your apartment to another one. Now, Major Arcana, the Magician, this is somebody who basically is very interesting uh, to you. Or, no, no, somebody who is interested into you. But can you see Two of Pentacles? This is you changing your mind. And basically, Pisces, my dear Pisces, you have a right to change your mind. And I think that the next two weeks or so will be about you simply changing 
your mind. I mean, and why not? <laughs> you know, you can do with your life whatever you want. So try not to be of feeling, you know, being trapped. There is a possibility for such a thing to be uh, trapped in any kind of situation because you always, always, always have opportunity and will have opportunity to choose. You know that Ace of Swords is always about making a choice. This spread in front of you is saying, be bold, be bold, choose it, make it, mani manifest whatever you want to manifest. Maybe you are afraid, maybe you are afraid, but there is at least one person next to you who is saying, why you are afraid of me? Why you do not trust me? Or why you do not want me? How come you don't see my intentions? How come? This man maybe is a womanizer and he ain't gonna hide that. Yeah, but I left this chasing other ladies in my past. And this is you saying, uh, I don't trust you. What if I uh, become a pregnant woman or what if I... Uh, discovered that I am pregnant and basically you decide to leave me in one year. What then? And this is him saying, no, I ain't gonna do such a thing. So fear is to be seen, but maybe, uh, I mean, if you really don't trust him, then, uh, you know, don't risk. I mean, don't risk at all. Simply say your peace and, you know, leave him. Or at least protect yourself if you don't want to become a pregnant woman. But if you know exactly who you are, if you know exactly who is this man, then simply, you simply, you know, uh, be responsible for your actions. Because this is, this is, this is basically uh, changing, this is action and this is thinking, uh, thinking basically about your next step. If you are completely, completely single, first what I can see... Scorpio, I can see Leo, I can see Cancer, I can see Libra, Gemini, and I can see especially good partner for you, Capricorn, Virgo, or Taurus. Everything depends on you, what you want. This is why around your birthday, you have sun in your first house, and this is God saying to you, okay, choose, I will deliver whatever you want. But don't change your mind in the next, like, you know, three hours or, or in three weeks, you know, uh, stay, stay with basically what you want because cosmos will deliver exactly what you are going to ask for, okay? Okay, some masks will fall uh, down in the next two weeks. If you are already in a weird ongoing love relationship, mask from the face of this uh, man will simply fall down because I can see somebody saying yeah honey but you knew all along who I am for better or for worse so maybe you will feel that you are used from somebody well honey what can I say at this point don't allow that simply don't allow somebody is using your time your energy uh, your heart uh, even your money and all these kind of things but when it comes to job, believe me, you will be tremendously successful. Couple of you in the next two weeks will change your current job. Okay, and this is everything what I have to share, guys, with you. If you want to hear your story, book a private reading with me. In the meantime, make sure to subscribe on my channel, like and share this video, please, with your friends. God bless you all. Take care. Bye.